Hey guys, so um, I asked everyone, hi little Georgie, I'm coming out with you. Um, it's actually really warm out today. So I asked everyone what Theta Healing downloads they would like to um, receive and one person, Salima, uh, said a couple things that I found um, really helpful for the collective. So let's begin. Theta Healing, the way that it works is basically you just calm your energy as much as you can, no matter um, how challenging that is. Being able to, here look, Georgie will help. Being able to um, come into a state where you can actually receive is really supportive. So if you can't watch this and receive right now, maybe watch this at another time, okay? Hi, baby. So would you like to know that it's safe to start focusing on things that are actually going to be beneficial to you? And if so, just say yes. Good, and so um, all you have to do is say yes in the comments or say yes in your head. Um, you can also say yes out loud, which is even better, I think. Um, and would you like to know that you are a positive person even if sometimes you're not feeling positive. So just ground and say yes. Um, and so what we're really focusing on, honestly, is just our mindset. So, um, and if you're catching this live, you can also take part in what you have going on as well. Because um, that's one of the benefits to catching me live. Um, and I'd love to hear if you guys are watching this on the replay. But what I'm getting is sometimes we become dependent on other people for a healthy mindset. And that's the last thing that we want to do is have to rely on other people to have a positive attitude. Yeah, sure, we need positive quotes and we need um, those little notes that are on the wall that are telling you you're beautiful and things like that. Sure. But essentially, we want those positive um, thoughts to come from us, to come from our own thoughts, um, not something that somebody told us about us, right? So what we want to do is let go of any judgment that we've placed on ourselves in the past, and we want to shift that energy over to creating steps for your future in ways that suit you to the highest and best good, essentially for you, okay? So we're gonna accept that download as well if it feels right for you, maybe placing your hand on your heart. Okay, and if you don't feel clear right now, if your energy is not feeling clear, what you wanna do is clear your freaking energy. So how do we clear energy, guys? Like, feel free to share. How do you clear your energy? Um, right now I have water. That's really important when we get Theta Healing. Before and after. Because when we're drinking things that aren't water, then um, it always seems like there's something in it. Unless it's like an herbal tea or something. Um, but there tends to be like a lot of added things so be mindful of that too with if you're not um clearing out the energy that's already in you then um you might be doing all like the right things and still feeling heavy so another example would be say you are working on weight loss okay um but you eat when you're stressed and you tend to eat more sugary foods more carbs Okay, so um, more of those, we'll say like breads, like say when you're feeling um, like you have a lot to do in the run of the day, you want to eat a sandwich for lunch because you're like, well, I just have so many things to do. I'm less focused on what I'm having for lunch and I'm more focused on making sure that I'm not starving throughout the day. Okay, that's just an example, but you're working on weight loss, right? So yeah, we want to be a clean channel. We want to clean, clear our energy. So make sure that you're doing that. There's more things than water. But if you're underneath my membership group, this would be a good question to um, like more address in our, in our group. 
Um, so if you're not a part of that membership group, you can join us for as little as 11.11 a month and cancel at any time. You're gonna get loads of perks in there. I highly recommend if you like the stuff that I do, that's where you're gonna get all the extras. That's where you're gonna get all the opportunities. Um, and my private coaching is now um, after 9 p.m. on Friday, 3.33 for the hour. And then I'm also going to be shifting over um, after that to packages. And so it's kind of a, a great time to be taking advantage if you do want a little bit of like one-on-one -on -one coaching, whether it's to um, get it certified or something like that through the memberships too, okay? So yes, clear your energy. That's a whole nother topic. But with the weight loss thing, if that's a goal for you, but you eat when you're stressed, some people don't eat when they're stressed as well. But you're more focused on like, oh my God, I have all these things to do. So you have a goal of weight loss, but you're letting all these other distractions kind of get in your way. Because one of the things we were addressing today is, is health. Um, and maybe not having that motivation to focus on health. So that's where things get a little bit tricky because it's about prioritizing your health first. So what's most important for you? Is it the weight loss or is it um, like organizing your life and simplifying your life? and then working on the weight loss. So that's what I'm getting, guys, is that we really want to make sure that when we're manifesting, when we're attracting things, it is for our highest good. But if, you, if you're not clear on what it is that you want, no wonder why you might, not be, you might not be getting where you need to get to. And that's where I really like doing Akashic Records readings for people. And I like teaching people how to do that for themselves. So if you were even in my pro level for my membership, it's 33, 33 a month and you get two versions of the Akashic Record. So even if you don't want to get certified in that, if you do, you just book a one hour coaching and show me that you've done the material. But even just getting that will be really helpful in general for everyone. So they can start tapping into like, what is it that I need? What is it that I have going on? And we can ask questions when we're in that space and it'll guide you a little bit better. If you get a reading from me or you get a healing from me, then I can help you get clear in what maybe would be best for you right now. So that's where you kind of have to do the work as well. So would you like to let go of not knowing what you wanted in the past and replace that with trusting that you will start tapping into that intuition and you will get the answers that you need when you decide that you really want to take the action steps that it takes to be able to do that? And if so, again, just say yes. Good. I'm getting some people like believe in like good luck and things like that. Um, and yeah, okay. Like that's a, that's a preference, like good luck, bad luck, whatever. Um, but there's also, um, something to be mindful of as we're talking about like mindset is, um, like not having a pity party on yourself because Salima, um, wrote in the comments, like she has a really hard time focusing on the future cause she's so focused on the past. Um, so we want to be aware of that too, that if we're, um, kind of having a little bit of a pity party for, on ourselves too, and really dwelling, then that's going to, um, kind of keep you there. So would you also like to cleanse yourself of times where you felt so heavy that you couldn't, you didn't feel like light was even an option for you? Anyone that might've experienced some type of darkness or possibly depression and let's shift that energy over to trusting that you can start being open to the light to healing uh, to positive energy and then it's safe for you to start receiving positive energy when it's being offered to you like such as even this okay and if so just say yes Good. And I'm getting that there's someone watching that's wondering about career moves specifically, but they're not asking that question. They want to know, like, where's my career going or what should I start doing? And if you feel that way, you can book in a session, but you could also ask while you're here. Um, if you ask a question after I get off of here, I'm not going to answer it. Um, 
just because that's how I'm doing things. If you want to be a part of my email list, go to my link tree and click free Theta Healing video, and then you'll get um, more information about things that I have happening if you're not like regularly following me on YouTube or Instagram. So um, pay close attention to absolutely like where your headspace is. And then the other thing that she was bringing up, oh, is that she wants to be around people who are essentially more positive. But when we're negative, sometimes positive people don't want to be around negative people. Sometimes positive people find negative people draining. So if you can start working on yourself, you're more likely to um, be more accepting and be more receptive of the people, again, that are offering you opportunities. Like, hey, come into my membership group. You're more likely to be like, fuck yeah. I don't know why I'm saying that, but um, you're just like, yes, $11.11, all this stuff, sure. Like there isn't any resistance. So when you have resistance to positive things, that's okay. But also do some inner work on why you're resistant to the good things that are coming in. Is it fear? Is it that you're not feeling worthy? Things like that. So there's a lot of a, a deeper thing that we're experiencing um, then we realize when, when we feel like we don't have enough positive people around us, it's like, you probably do have positive people around you, but if you're always saying no to things, then eventually people might stop asking you if you want to become a part of positive things. And then you might find that you're complaining that you're all by yourself and, and you're around negative people or you don't have anyone. So it's like, there are tons of opportunities, but it's you seeing seeing that things are positive opportunities as well. So do you think possibly that you have positive opportunities coming in? And maybe you're just not seeing them as opportunities. And often this will come up when I do card readings that someone might not even like, they could be like getting a reading and not even really like seeing the reading as positive. So again, how are you interpreting energy? So let's integrate all of that energy as well that you agree to, that you want to receive. Good. And also she was looking to attract fun people. So not just positive people, but fun people. Because there are boring positive people. Because we're all a little bit different personality wise. Um, so my suggestion when you're looking to find people who are a vibrational match for you it would be like, if there's any type of desperation when it comes to what you're looking to attract, that's a sign that there's a lack. So my suggestion, um, Salima is, is in one of my healing groups, would be to address that in the healing group and say, like, I feel like I'm, like, work on what you're lacking. And then what you're going to find is when you don't feel like you're lacking it anymore it's right there. It's always been there. So we want to get rid of any, anything we feel like we're lacking in because chances are you probably aren't. Again, it's all mindset. Okay. So, um, yeah, there's a lot of psychology to that, which is great. So, um, learning more about the, the mind and, you know, all that, all the practices are really helpful. So, um, if you want more mindfulness practices, become a VIP member in my group, um, do it at least for three months and see how, how you find you change in that short period of time. All right. So a few opportunities there for you guys. Link tree is what you can click on to join the membership, to become a part of the email list. And, uh, what's beautiful about these little free things that I'm offering is you can see like how such small things can make such a big difference. So remind yourself that sometimes these things come in instantly. Sometimes these things come in over time. But if you continuously say yes to the changes that are coming in, it becomes a lot easier. Okay. So we want to say yes. All right. Bye for now.